Hi everybody, this is Patty the Tinker's wife here at Tinker's Paradise and today we're going to pollinate some tomatoes. I alluded to this in my last video and decided I'd do a quick one this morning to show you what I do. It's going to be fun. <sighs> Gotta show you the bean flowers. Yes. Good morning. Wonder if the bee's over here. Let's look at the bee. There was a bee resting on a leaf. Oh, there he is. Hello, garden friend. Oh, and the purple ones, the purple beans. Look at that flower, is that cool? It's gonna be purple. Oh, let's look here too. Oh yes, there's a male. There's a male flower. See the male flower? This is the female one with the fruit. Yay. Come on, buddy. Do your job. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you some help. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to just drop you down in there like that. There. <laughs> We'll see if that works. I just got it all over my fingers. I'm bound to determine I'm going to get that. I've had two blooms that bloomed with no pollination. So I got two pieces of fruit that are just going to go away and I will not have that. Oh, we can do this here on this one. It vibrates the same as bees wings and I have it set to the middle setting. So, oh, there was one over here I want to get. You just take it and you put it on there like that. And it vibrates the flower like a bee's wing. Pretty cool. So that's how I do that. I am going to have the best tomato crop ever, Lord willing. <laughs> I'm reaching way too far in here. Is that cool or what? Now this is my old toothbrush. I was going to replace it anyway. So why not? It wouldn't matter. I could wash it off. It wouldn't matter. I could use it when I'm done here. Like Barry's crazy cherry needs any help. Those of you who grow this, right? Yeah, so that's a little obsessive. Oh, I do want Brad's Atomic. That's Brad's Atomic here. Get a two for one going here. Here's more. Yes, Brad's Atomic. If the flower falls off and the whole stem kind of gets brown up in here, that means nothing pollinated. But if the flower falls off and that stem stays on there, then you're going to have a tomato. Same thing goes with the peppers. Yes, we are going to have fruit. Fruit to boot. Fruit to boot. Oop, I gotta move this. See that beauty right there? Right there. We're gonna get that beauty. That's gonna be a beautiful big piece of fruit. There's another one. He's not quite open yet. I'll hit him tonight. Oh, there's one. That's a good one. I'm having a terrible time aiming my camera, aren't I? Forgive me. This guy here, he's, he's weird. See this leaf? That's where the, this is a leaf stem and that's where the flowers are. And I think I actually pulled some of the flowers off of this thing because I was pruning it. So I've got to really watch this one. That's weird. I don't have any other tomato that does that. So anyway, Oops, sorry. That's how I pollinate the tomatoes. <laughs> and you got some free bloom pictures in there too. And the bee. How about that? I wanted to show you one more thing. This is the celery flower. And uh, there were pollinators on this. I also saw on the tomatoes a little, like a flower fly that was pollinating them. So there's hope yet. 
Oh, here's another one of these. We want to do this. I'm just trying to help the garden along. Diatomaceous earth is what all that white stuff is, if anybody doesn't know. I even put it on the plants in case there's a critter wanting to eat them. Um, anything else I want to say this morning? No, I guess the only other thing is thank you for spending time with me. I really appreciate your support. And um, you all just have a wonderful day. This is Patty, the Tinker's wife, signing off. God bless.